Hey everyone, here's a question from algebraic expression of class 8. The question is, if x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 27, find the value of, we have a two question, first one is x plus 1 by x and second one is x minus 1 by x. In the question we have x square plus 1 by x square, we have squares here, but the value we have to find out has a no power, we have x plus 1 by x and second one is just sign change, it's x minus 1 by x. So how to find out the value? So what we're going to do here is, we're going to just take the question, let us take the first one here and we're going to do a squaring. So x plus 1 by x, I'm going to find out the square of this value. Okay, I'm going to do a, square, a squaring of this value. So squaring means it will become whole to the power 2. Okay, whole to the power. So, but this we cannot open the bracket. We have to use the identity. If you observe here, it is like a plus b whole square. Yes. And this is the identity. We have a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is the first identity. In place of a, we have to put x. In place of b, we have to put 1 by x. So this, in this identity, on the left side, we have I have written here. In place of a, we have to put x. In place of b, we have to put 1 by x. And let's see what we get there. So this is equal to, in place of a square, it will become x square plus 2ab so it's 2 into a value is x and b value is 1 by x plus b square b value is 1 by x and it will become 1 by x whole square so 2 and 2 will get cancelled so this is equal to x square plus 2 plus 1 by x whole square is nothing but 1 by x square you have learned this in exponent chapter so this power 2 will go to both numerator and denominator so it will become 1 square 1 square is 1 and x square is x square we got here right so this is equal to x square plus I'm just rearranging the terms here 1 by x square plus 2 why I'm rearranging them because in the given question we know x square plus 1 by x square value it is 27 it's given the question so here in this place x square plus 1 by x square I'm gonna put 27 it's given the question so this is equal to 27 plus 2 which is equal to 29 yes so let me write what we got now we got here x plus 1 by x whole square is equal to 29 but we want only the value of x plus 1 by x we don't want the square here to remove the square we have to take a square root okay to we want to take a square root on both the side of the equation so into a square root here this power 2 will go and we'll get a square root for 29 so this will be x plus 1 by x is equal to square root of 29 that's it so I hope this question is clear the first one now same way we have to do for the second one we have to take the square of x minus 1 by x square and we're going to get the same thing here so here this will be I'm going to just change this I'm going to erase we have to use instead of first identity we have to use a second identity that's it so second question we have x minus 1 by x I'm going to take a squaring of this so we have to use second identity it is a minus b whole square and we know a, uh, a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square instead of plus we have minus that's it this is a minus b whole square so let's substitute the values here so a square it, it will be equal to x square in place of a we have to put x so it will become x square minus 2ab so 2 into a value is x and b value is 1 by x plus b square b value is 1 by x whole square so this is equal to x square minus here this x in the numerator and in the denominator will get cancelled so we'll get minus 2 plus 1 by x whole square is 1 by x square again I'm going to rearrange them so this is x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 so this value is given in the question x square plus 1 by x square is 27 so this is equal to 27 minus 2 which is equal to 25 the same like a first question instead of addition we have a subtraction sign we have to subtract it so what we got here we got here x minus 1 by x whole square is equal to 25 so we have to remove the square here because we want only x minus 1 by x value I'm going to take a square root on both the side 
so this will become x minus 1 by x is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 square root of 25 is 5 right in the previous question we cannot take a square root of that number so we have left it like that but square root of 25 is 5 so we got the answer here x minus 1 by x value is 5 so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching